I, well, I was in junior high and I was hitting on this girl named Rachel and I was making fun of a couple kids named Sarah and Johnny and uh, it was Valentine's Day so I told Rachel I was gonna pull a prank on Sarah and Johnny and I got those little candies that are like they're like probably carved out of chalk you know what I'm talking about the little heart candies and they've got little things etched on them uh, by little Valentine's elves um, and I got some of those, put them in a bag, and I said, I wrote a note that said, Dear Sarah, I love you so much, Johnny. And I put it in Sarah's cubby, which cubbies are awesome. Um, later in the day, my teacher, who is the sweet southern lady, she comes up, gathers the class together, and holds up my prank. And she says, Whoever did this is lower than a snake's belly. And I was like, Mrs. S, you can't get lower than a snake's. Oh, I get it. I'm terrible. And I was right. I mean, I felt so bad because I treated them like they were less than human. You know why? Because their mask wasn't as pretty as mine. I was acting like somebody who I wasn't so that my mask would be pretty and theirs wouldn't be. And that's what masks do to us. That's what it means to be a faker. It means we, we put on a show and when people don't perform as well as we do, that has consequences. We look down on them and we look up to ourselves. But then when we fail, we feel like a shriveled little pistachio. We feel terrible. And that's the faker roller coaster.